Good evening, good afternoon. I keep saying evening. I don't know why I'm so stuck on the evening. It is afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. So glad that you are able to join today. I'm going to give just about a minute for people to jump on here and be a part of this live feed. Got a few things that I want to share just for a couple minutes. And then we are going to pray. I have my... Um, CGMA rooted coffee uh, container here that I uh, got many years ago at our assembly. To, well, I say many, it's just been 2017. It's not been that long ago. But uh, praise God. Thank God for it. Hello, hello, Becky. How are you? Thank you all for joining, being a part of this. Uh, so grateful for you be a part of this some of you have joined me every day for uh, uh, many days we've been <laughs> almost two weeks now and here we are still somewhat in what the world calls a pandemic um, but I believe I believe we're going to see something great through this I'm just I'm just holding to that belief that God has something awesome in store for what's going on. And uh, you can believe that it was sent by God. You can believe that it wasn't sent by God. It don't matter to me which way of those places you believe. I got my own belief on that. Uh, and I'm not going to argue about it here. But I believe that either way, God is going to do something great during this time. And I believe it's time for the church to rise up greater than ever before. Amen. Hello to everybody. Hello. I can't see if you're joining, but I can see if you comment. So hello, Jess. Hello, Bobby Sue. Afternoon. Thank you all so much. And I can also see if you guys give hearts and thumbs up. So thank you for that. Hello, Pastor Bucky. Had a great time with Pastor Bucky last night. If you haven't had the opportunity to go on to our Facebook or I suggest the YouTube channel, and if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I really encourage you to do that. Go to our YouTube channel. The link will be in our Facebook somewhere. I may repost the link just to be sure that it's there and easy to find. Really encourage you to, to subscribe to that. If we can get a thousand subscribers, it's easier for us to do YouTube live videos. But uh, we have a long way to go before we get a thousand. I think we've got a little over 200 right now. So. But I, I would like, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, the Courts of Praise Church YouTube channel, please do so if at all possible. Hello, hello, hello to everybody. I want to read, I just want to read Psalms 91, but I want to talk about it just a minute. Psalms 91, I'm starting at verse number one. I'm not going to read the whole chapter, just part of it. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I read that verse 20 times in a row, just like I said it. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. I got to look into the Hebrew. I went to the Strong's Concordance. If you never used the Strong's Concordance, I challenge you to. You'll find a lot of good information in there. Secret place means a hiding in an elevated place. Hiding in an elevated place. Uh, uh, to ascend. Hiding in God. He that continues in the secret place. Do you hear me? He that continues and dwells and lives in the secret place shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So if I want to abide under the covering of God, if I want to abide under his shelter, under his protection, I have to learn how to dwell in the secret place. Man. And we are in a time right now where the secret place should be more important to us than ever before because we're not able to gather as a body of believers. So we all have more time and should be more now than ever before going to a secret place, 
finding our secret place. And if we learn to dwell in the secret place, then we will abide under the covering of God. What am I talking about secret place? I'm talking about uh, the, the old saints used to call it your prayer closet. Um, uh, prayer closet is a, is a place. It doesn't have to be a closet necessarily, but that's what they used to call it. A place where you get alone with God. You get alone with him and you spend quiet time alone with him. And, and sometimes it's great to have worship music playing, but I even suggest just getting to a quiet place alone with God and talking to him. Um, uh, dwells at the secret place. When I learn to dwell at the secret place, uh, it, we, we can finish off the entire chapter. When I dwell in the secret place, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God. When I dwell in the secret place, uh, he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler. When I dwell in the secret place, he shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust and, and he shall be, be my shield and my buckler. When I learn to dwell in the secret place, I'll not be afraid for the terror by night. We're, we're, there's so many people afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence. Do you know the word pestilence there means plague? Nor for the plague that walks in darkness. Do you did you hear that? Psalms 91, we will not have to be afraid of the plague, the virus, if we learn to dwell in the secret place of God. When I get into the secret place, it's no longer about performance. It's no longer about my talent. It's no longer about my abilities. It's just being open before God. The Lord gave me a word and I'm working on the word still. And it's just a simple word that, that many people have said and have used. The, the word transparency. And how, how, how transparency, the clearness of transparency allows light to shine. And I'm not going to get into it right now. But in the secret place, God looks into me. You know, we can be like Adam and we can hide in the garden. And, and Adam actually said, when, when God came looking for Adam, Adam said, I was afraid because I was naked. And in other words, God, I did not want you to see me naked. And we've got to understand that when we get in the secret place, we get exposed to God. And he sees things in our life that a lot of times we try to hide with fig leaves. We try to hide with things, uh, other things. We try to keep them secret away from everybody. But but I want to challenge you. When you get in a secret place, God starts dealing with those stuff. It may get uncomfortable for a little bit. But work through that uncomfortableness because God is not there to condemn you. Praise God. He is there to fix you. He is there to recondition you. He is there to renew you. That's what God's after. He's after us being in a secret place. I can't hide myself from God when I'm in the secret place. So most people don't want to be in the quiet place with God because God starts dealing with things in our life. But if you will let him do it, there is liberty. Um, it's in the secret place. James actually talks about it. I, I want to read uh, James chapter one. If I can find it here. James chapter one, it, it, he's talking about uh, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. But then he jumps to verse 25. Whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, whoever looks into the perfect law of liberty, which is Christ. Christ is the perfect law of liberty and continues therein. He not being a forget, forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. Learn to abide in the secret place, looking into the perfect law of liberty. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Thank God. One more place and I'm, I'm going to pray. In, in Luke chapter number 10. Luke chapter 10. It's at the end of the chapter, verse 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Jesus is at Mary and Martha and Lazarus' house. We know them very well because of the miracle that Jesus performed by calling Lazarus out of the grave. He was good friends with these, Mary and Martha and Lazarus. And he was at their house and Martha was working. She was cooking. She was laboring. She was, she was striving. She was cooking. She was working. And it was a good deed that she was doing. 
And Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus listening to his word. And Martha came to Jesus and she said, Jesus, tell Mary to help me. She's just sitting here doing nothing. Tell Mary to get busy working. And Jesus turns it back on Martha and said, Martha, Martha, you are so busy about doing so many things, but Mary has chosen the good thing. And he says these words, but one thing is needful. What was needful? It was needful to be at the feet of Jesus. It was needful to be in the secret place. It was needful to be in that quiet place. It was needful to be in communion and alone with God. Can I tell you, thank God for gifts. Thank God for talents. Thank God for all these things. But gifts without communion with God are dangerous. Gifts without communion with God are dangerous. Gifts without communion with God are dangerous. Uh, take time. Take time in the secret place. Take time. I, 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 I want you guys to join me every day at noon in prayer. But I'm also just really, 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 really encouraging you to take time separated from any technology. Uh, you know, get your Bible. If, if the only Bible you have is on your phone, I understand. Get with me again. Send us a private message on Facebook. I will, I will mail you a Bible if you need a Bible. But get along with God, get quiet with God, get in a quiet place with God. And I even encourage you, as I've said, uh, even 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 turn the music off. And and I know there's times where I do, I, I worship God with music and I'm in that time and I'm in a, that place with God and there's music playing. But there's also some important times where I just need to be quiet and things need to be quiet and I need to be alone with God. The, the weather's going to start getting warm. Take a walk outside if you're able to. Go somewhere, find a place. To, to just have a, a quiet time with God and let him start speaking into your life. You'll find yourself walking away from that secret place, feeling so much better, feeling so much lighter. Amen. We're going to pray. And uh, thank you all for staying with me. Let's let's pray. And, I, and then I want to I want to commune with you guys some and, and talk with you all some chat with you all. Father, I thank you so much, Lord, that you have blessed us that we're able to pray. Thank you, God, that there is a place called the secret place that I can dwell in and find refuge and find comfort. Lord, thank you for that secret place. And I just pray that those that hear this video and hear this word would be encouraged to find a secret place in their life, a, a time alone with you, a time at your feet. It is needful. Jesus, you said the words, one thing is needful and Mary has chosen the good thing. So Lord, I pray that, that we not get so busy trying to do and do and do that we forget that we do need time with you. Father, we just pray against this virus and we pray, Lord, we pray, Lord, as a nation that is repenting to you right now more than ever before, that we would continue to turn our hearts to you and Lord, that this virus would begin to dissolve. But Lord, more than that, we pray that your kingdom come and your will be done because Lord, what you want to do in this nation and what you want to do in the church and what you want to do in this hour, I pray it be done. And Lord, may your church be in the place that we can submit to you, surrender to you, and do as you would have us do. Thank you for being our, our refuge our, our place that we can run to and, and find refuge in. Thank you for that, God. Lord, guide us. Guide your church. You are the head. We are the body. Guide us and direct us, Lord, the way that you see fit. May everything we do be honoring to you. I pray against the spirit of fear. You've not given that to us. We will not receive it in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke it off of those who have, who have allowed it into their life. God, I just pray for a, a, a perfect law of liberty to be in front of us, that we can look into the perfect law of liberty, that we can look to you, Christ, <laughs> that we can look to you and find liberty, perfect law of liberty. May all that you do in us, Lord, uh, may we be willing to accept everything you want to do in us. We love you and we thank you, Father. I pray you bless all those that watch this. Lord, give them peace, I pray. In the name of Jesus, amen 
Amen. Amen. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I'm going to look through some things. If you're just now joining, please, uh, I'm just now going to talk to some people and chat with everybody. But if you're just now joining us, make sure to go um, to the beginning of this video and listen to the things that the Lord wants us to say. Praise God. Love you. Praying, Becky. Praying for you. Happy birthday, Pastor Bucky. Pastor Bucky, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I wish I had a, a party hat and, and all that stuff. Party horn. I'd, I'd throw you a party across the screen here. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Heather. Hello, Sarah. Sandra. Robin. Hello. Hello, everyone. So glad you're here. So thankful for you all being a part of this. Amen. Hello, Rosalie. Love you. Love you, Lisa. Love you, love you, love you. Hello, Heather. Hello, Beth. God bless you all. Love you, Sister Betty, Octavia. Love you all. Love you all. How's everybody doing? Any questions? Any comments? How's, how's your day been going? How's, how's everything been going for you all through the day? Happy 94th birthday, Pastor Bucky. No. <laughs> Pastor Bucky is not 94 years old, by the way. <laughs> Hello, Sister Car Carolyn. Love you. Yeah, amen. God is going to do something great. He really is. He really is. Thank you, Heather. Praise God. Hello, Crystal. No, 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 Crystal. Pastor Bucky is not 94. <laughs> Praise God. Y'all good. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Love everything God is doing uh, through all of this. Yeah, April. Thank you, Lisa. April, it's also April. Ranta's birthday. Her and Pastor Bucky was born on the same day. Maybe not the same year, but the same day. But uh, happy birthday also to April. Hello, Erica. Amen. Yeah, great word, Pastor Bucky. His heart chamber. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> uh, this is good. This is good. Amen. Headed to physical therapy. We're praying for you, Beth. Be safe. And I know physical therapy a lot of times is painful. So we're praying for you in that. Praying for you in that. Praise God. Rosalie's trying to tell your age, Pastor Bucky. She said you're 69 years old. <laughs> Praise God. Y'all good. I love y'all so much. We're blessed. We're blessed. Our church is blessed. I'm blessed. You're blessed. We're blessed people in a blessed nation. Thank God. Amen. Love you. Thank you, Lisa. God bless you. Love you all so much. Amen, Whitney. It's great to see you. Great to see you on here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. That's right, Betty. Just as Moses put God before him, we should do the same. Amen. There you go, John. You're old as you feel. <laughs> Some days I feel 94. <laughs> Love you, Angie. Thank God for y'all. Love and miss each one of you. So grateful. So grateful uh, for our church. I, I just want to say, you know, God has been, I'll probably say this tomorrow also, but Courts of Praise and, and, and those of you that have been following us, God has been preparing us really for two years for this. He's been He's been pre preparing us, taking us from uh, more of a performance mentality into a place where we can allow God to do a work in our lives and allow God to move in our lives. And here we are. And, and God's been preparing us and getting us ready for this. So I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that God foreseen this coming when, when we had no idea God was already speaking to us about our relationship with him and our private time with him and secret place with him. God gave me the word about the secret place back in December. 
you probably don't remember it because it wasn't really something I focused totally a lot on, but uh, God gave me the word about the secret place back in December. And so he's, he's been preparing us and I'm thank God, thank God for that. I love you guys. I let you go. Been on here 20 minutes. Thank you so much for joining with me and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at noon. The Lord willing, let's come together again and let's pray again. Amen. If you're able to share this video so this word can get out to everybody we possibly can get it to. And remember, go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Amen. Love y'all. Thank you all.